The Dermaflage started off as a makeup artist company that focuses on Hollywood, celebrities, all of that good stuff, but they realized that there's regular people like you and me that struggle with the same things that need these amazing products to help us feel more confident in our day-to-day -day lives. Dermaflage is also cruelty-free. I know some of you guys love, love, love to hear that. So go Dermaflage. All right, so to start off this tutorial, guys, I'm gonna zoom you guys in close so we can really see these bags underneath my eyes. <laughs> So I really want this video to focus on how to cover the under eye bags and circles. I know that it is something that so many people are so self-conscious of. And some days we have worse under eye bags than some other days. So let's skip ahead and I will show you guys how to correct and conceal underneath your eyes. All right guys, so I did my primer and my foundation. Now we're moving on to the under eyes. We're first going to conceal or color correct underneath our eyes. So sometimes the under eye bags can get really dark and putting concealer on top sometimes can even make that look worse. And I've seen it before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the behind the scenes concealer quad or it's not a quad, it's a quad tuplet. Quintuplet, it's quintuplet palette. <laughs> so this palette has five different colors inside. It has a darker kind of reddish toned color, a lighter peachy tone, and then it has a purple, a green, and also a yellow. So all these colors help you conceal different parts of your face. We're just going to be focusing on these two right here and I'll tell you why. So the undertones of these guys are a little more red, a little more peachy. This is going to help us cover the dark circles underneath our eyes. So if your under eyes are a little bit more blue, a little bit more purple, this reddish tone is going to help us cancel out that color so that when we conceal on top, it's going to look perfectly smooth. It's not gonna have any tint of color to it. It's just gonna look nice and bright. So I'm a little bit lighter skinned and my under eye bags are not that dark. So I'm just gonna use some of this guy. If my bags were a little bit darker underneath my eyes, I would use a little bit of this more reddish toned concealer. So I like to take a flat brush first. And I'm only using a little bit because I don't want the concealer underneath my eyes to be too thick. So I'm just using what I need. I'm just gonna blend that out and you can see that it already brightened underneath my eyes. I'll look a lot more alive, right? So then I'm gonna take the Dermaflash concealer. I have two shades here. I have Golden Fair and I have Medium. I'm gonna take the concealer to top it off. Again, the same thing. I'm just gonna use the brush on top first. Dermaflash is really known for their concealers. Like this concealer is so soft and so creamy. It doesn't feel drying, so it's not gonna dry out my under eyes. And I'm even gonna use a little bit of this just to kind of bring my whole face together and then same thing i really like to use the sponge you can definitely use your finger i just like to keep my fingers clean so i'm going to use the sponge just to blend this out and i like this little triangular shape that i'm making with the concealer just to further brighten my whole face and by putting the concealer in all these other highlight areas too it really brightens the whole face and kind of brings it all together of course we're focusing underneath our eyes but you know you want your whole face to look alive as a whole and I know sometimes you guys ask why is it better to use a sponge I just like the way a sponge really blends something out a brush sometimes can leave like streaks um, and I feel like a sponge really soaks up product that you don't need and only places product that you do need. The final step to the under eyes is setting it with a translucent powder. I like to use a translucent powder because I'm a little bit on the lighter side. So kind of like a light, very, very light pink tone powder or a just 
straight translucent no color powder underneath my eyes can help brighten it if you're a little bit deeper maybe something more with a yellow undertone or a little bit of a darker powder but not as dark as your actual skin tone will also help brighten underneath the eyes so I'm just gonna place a little bit of powder underneath my eyes depending on the type of skin you have if you have oily skin underneath your eyes I like to use the trick Personally, for me, I like to take my beauty sponge, dip it in a little bit of powder, and actually press the powder in underneath my eyes. If you're a little bit more on the drier side, I like to take just a brush and swipe a little bit of powder underneath. I don't want my under eyes to crease at all. Again, this concealer is so, so, so moisturizing. It's super creamy, so it's not going to crease on you as long as you set it correctly for your skin type. If you have super, super dry skin and you feel like your skin just soaks up everything that you put on top of it, you might not even need powder. All right, you guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Do we, do we look brighter? Do we feel brighter? Do you guys feel good about this video? Do you think that this is something that you can do? I think so. Super, super easy. Just a couple few steps and a couple little things that is really going to help you get that bright under eye. And these products are really, really amazing. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and supporting me as always. Make sure to subscribe to my face right here and check out all of my other videos. I'll see you guys really soon. Bye.